Hey what's up guys it's Ben Bonk and recently I hosted the third Ben Bonk Game Jam. In this Game Jam contestants had 72 hours to make a game with a theme of two sides. The jam had over 500 people join and over 100 submissions so today I just wanted to go over some of the best games from the jam. So let's get into it. First up let's go over the top 10 ranked games of the jam. In first place we have Plug by BR Blaze. This is a simple platformer about switching dimensions to, well, plug in. There are also all kinds of other twists that the game throws at you such as keys and this countdown that kind of turns the game into a speedrunning game. Overall, I really like this game. I think it's a great mix of precise platforming and puzzles, which makes for a really solid game that definitely deserves first place. And the visuals are also really neat. Alright, next up in second place we have Dimensional Puzzle by Mr. NR15. This is, well, another dimensional platformer puzzle game. The concept is very similar to the previous game where you play as a cube who has to use keys to move on to the next level. I also think that the minimalistic art style works really well here and the level design was also really neat. Take this early level for example where the player has to move this key up by switching dimensions but also has to be careful not to let the key touch these zones. Nice job. Next up in third place we have The Rescue of Princess Page by Nitti. This is yet another platformer but this time instead of switching dimensions you flip pages. This mechanic is awesome, and I just love this page flipping effect. But the game pretty much involves the player flipping this page back and forth to transport them across the book. This can create some unique puzzles, especially when things like switches, boxes, and pressure plates are thrown into the mix. I also really like the art and limited color palette, so good job Nitti. The next game we have is Paper Flipper in 4th place by Pixelippy and Triangle Dev. This is another platformer, so I didn't see the trend here, but anyways, this game is about flipping pages to help you solve levels. The mechanic is really simple but really well done, and there's some additions in later levels such as devices which add another layer of complexity onto the core mechanic. I also really like the simple look and aesthetic from this game, it's just really nice to look out and I love these moving bushes and mountains. Moving on, in 5th place we have 2 sides 1 choice by Noodle Smith, Silex02, HK, Notakitty, and yes, this game is not a platformer. This game is pretty much about choosing between 2 choices and life. These choices will affect all kinds of factors like health, money, and mood, so the whole game is about choosing the right options and progressing through life. Which is actually pretty interesting, and I really like the take on the theme. You can also decide to let your choice go up to pure chance by flipping this coin, which is a neat addition. Overall, a really cool game. I love the whole black and white look of it, and it's really neat to get all sorts of endings and status effects. Next, we have Dicey Math in 6th place by Pepperboy. This is a nice little game where you roll this dice to create math combinations. The twist is you can't control what number you have to make or the exact number that will be on your die as you roll it, so you have to move around and check if each math combination works. There's also a time pressure element added, so you need a decent amount of skill and a bit of luck. Unfortunately, I'm really bad at it, but the concept is really unique and I love the simple look, so nice job. The next game we have is Mom Duck vs Cars in 7th place by Spaghetti Cupcake Games. This is a game where a mom duck has to move herself and her babies across a busy road. However, this isn't as easy as just crossing the road. You have to instead move objects in front of cars to block the path, creating this wacky physics simulation. This game is definitely lacking in an element of polish, but it's still a pretty fun concept. Moving on, we have two slime mentions in 8th place by Scarf Raven Studios. This is another platformer where you can switch between two different, not die mentions, slime mentions to change the terrain around. This is like a few of the other games in the jam, and there are some really neat levels in here, but what really stands out to me is the art. I just really like the whole look of this game and how responsive everything feels. Nice stuff. Alright, the last game I have for now is Lamb Land Adventure in 9th place by Shovel. This is yet another platformer with the neat addition of unlocking new mechanics with each level. The art is really great in this game, and there's a surprising amount of substance and story for only 3 days. I kinda wish there could have been a bit more use of the theme in regards to gameplay, but still, good job. Moving on, there's actually a tie for 9th place, and the other 9th place game was The Other Side by Oscar Dev. Unfortunately, every time I try to run this game, it just crashes my PC, but from what I can tell, it's another dimension like puzzle game. But now, let's take a look at Ben Bonk's Choice, which is my favorite game of the jam. And this year around, that game was. Smelson Island! Nah, just kidding, it's actually Satellite Shields by Lucid DH. This game is about using these satellite shields to protect the Earth from incoming ships. You can only move these ships in 4 directions, and there's also this extend move with the up and down arrow keys which adds a ton of strategy to the game, as you try to hectically move around blocking and deflecting lasers coming from all kinds of directions. It's just super fun and addicting in my opinion, and gets really hard over time. It also kinda reminds me of the Undyne fight from Undertale a bit, so if you like that, there you go. 
Overall, this game might not be for everyone, but I really enjoyed it. Anyways, now let's take a look at some other games that didn't quite make the top 10 cut, but that I still thought were pretty neat. Toggle Tap is an extremely well polished game where you must switch between two modes, shooting and parrying, or basically offense and defense. This makes for a really interesting dynamic where you can't stand one mode for too long or you'll basically explode. The game has a really high initial difficulty and I kinda suck at it, but it's an awesome concept. Dual Wolf is a game where you play as a wolf and a person at the same time. The idea is really neat and as the wolf on the left screen, you want to kill all the people. At the same time as the player on the right, you need to dodge these angry people. It's a really neat balance as your eyes will jolt across the screen trying to multitask offense and defense at the same time. Good on Devil is a game where the player is reflected and you must manage to kill enemies from both sides with each character having different controls. I think it's too easy just to spam shots in both directions with both players, but I still like the take on the theme. The Two Side Experiment is a game where you're taking part in an experiment with two endings. You just go through a bunch of different minigames where you can either fail or succeed, which determines your ending. This game doesn't have too much depth, but I really like the concept and presentation of this game. Chosen is a roguelike where you can either choose the light or dark path. This path determines which upgrades you can purchase, affecting how you'll kill waves of enemies. It's a neat little concept, I just think the actual fighting system could use a bit of work. Fries With That is a game about serving customers food that they ordered. It gets really hectic really fast, and I'm really impressed by all the art and all the systems that the developer was able to make in such a short period of time. Though I'm not really sure about the theme usage on this one. Blind Date is a really neat little puzzle game where you have to use this console to guide this little cube between all kinds of puzzles. The thing is, you can't just go back and see what the room looks like once you open the console. This makes it so you need to remember room layouts and use the console error messages to guide yourself. I just love the graphics, music, and concept of this game. I think it got a bit slept over in the ratings. Though, maybe the gameplay could be a bit more compelling. Switch Chick is a really pretty game about switching terrain, which is, yeah, really similar to other games in the jam. I just really like the level design here, and the art and polish in this game is just amazing. The blue and pink combination just looks really nice here, so great job guys. Coin Flip Simulator is a game about flipping coins. Doesn't sound like much fun, right? But actually, it kind of is. The game gives you mechanics to help alter these coin flips, such as slowing down time and pushing coins in mid-air. It's a neat little idea, and I give the dev credit for trying something pretty unique. Also, the art style is really cool. Magnetic Wizard is a game about using a magnet to stop enemy attacks and use them against those enemies. You could probably use a bit of work gameplay-wise, but bonus points for using a green color palette. Alright, last but not least, Parallel is a game where you control two slimes who need to reach these portals. However, the game reflects the active slime over the y-axis, making it so that the other slime can use that reflection to progress. It's by no means the prettiest game out there, but I really thought the core mechanic was interesting and created some really unique gameplay situations, so great job, Dev. Well, that's all the games I have to talk about for now. Thanks to everyone who made this another amazing jam. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video, and please consider subscribing or liking, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.